Good morning, you guys, or whatever time of day that you're joining me. It's time to place the scale. Oops, and it didn't want to come on. So let's see what we've done this week. super excited to see that number on the scale this week and I'm going to tell you what I did and what to expect in the week to come. Well hello and happy Friday. It is a happy Friday on the scale this week and so 1.2 pounds. Not too bad. Not too bad. Considering I did have over the last two weeks a 1.2 gain, I am right back where I left off. And so I was thinking about it this week as I watched my scale daily go down but kind of inch and I knew this is not gonna be a huge loss week. I started thinking about weight set points. And um, this, I have hit another one of my body's weight set points. Not to say that I'm gonna stay here, but I do realize that I spent most of my adult life around this area, around the 280s, um, very, very low 290s, 280s. And so getting back through this may be a challenge. It may be a place where my body says, oh, we know how to navigate this, so we're just going to rock out here. Um, but I have done a couple things to try to plow through this area a little bit faster maybe than my body might want to. I thought I'd mention that because I was just kind of noticing what my body does at different places. It took a long time to get out of the 290s and the 280s. It may be a while, um, but I did kick up my exercise this week. I am so proud of myself and so sore. I can't even tell you how wonderfully sore I am. I feel really, really good um, in that like those endorphins are kicking and I am just, I want to work out like every single day just because of that high. But um, I realized that I can't. So this week I did four Zumba classes and then I actually took time out in the middle of my day Wednesday because that's a kind of a long day for me and I couldn't get to a class in the morning, but I actually stopped in the middle of my day in between clients and just went walking around a strip mall and got about 3,000 steps in that way. So I am tackling my sedentary lifestyle. I realize that my body needs the movement. I need to pay attention to how much I am actually getting up and making it a conscious effort to get that exercise in and it paid off this week. Although yes, I really was expecting a bigger loss uh, because of my squash debacle. If you haven't seen that, check out last week's weigh-in video. Uh, and I, I haven't yet tried squash again, but we shall see. But this week, a couple other things that I realized need to happen for me too. As I had mentioned, my family is beginning to move towards veg um, veganism, that type of thing. More so plant-based eating. And I realized that for me and my body that that's not going to be the best thing. So I had to let them know that I could see myself beginning to stall out taking in all the carbohydrates. Now, Please listen to me. I am not speaking against veganism or vegetarianism. I think it's extremely healthy to get lots of veggies in. For me, I need high protein. I need proteins coming in. That's what my body runs best on. And so for the first half of the week last week, I saw myself stalling. I actually had a huge gain over the week when I did most of my weekly eating. And I was up four and a half something pounds from getting those extra weeklies in. I did use all my week. I, I used all my weeklies except for seven this week. So when I did that, I came to Monday four and a half pounds up, and then slowly it was trickling. So Monday I decided, okay, no more of the vegetarian 
focus for me. I'm going to put my proteins back. And as soon as I added back in my proteins, the weight started pouring back off. So I'm looking forward to maybe even more so of the weight pouring back off this next week um, as I just get back to eating normal for me, just normal. And that means chicken and fish and, you know, proteins. I did learn a lot though while I was, I had that focus of, you know, veggies and things like that. I learned that there's tons of protein in beans, which is really neat. So I may add some of that in. It's definitely healthy for the excretory tract. <laughs> um, you know, so I, I may still supplement and add some of those things in. But for me, I'm pretty much just going to go back to what I was doing that was working when I was really on a roll and losing well. So the other thing, like I mentioned, is that it was a high activity week for me. For me, we're talking about the girl who resists moving her body and my job calls for me to drive for 30 minutes at a time and go and sit at someone's piano. Drive some more, go sit at another piano. So my life is completely sedentary unless I am extremely intentional about movement and so this week I was very intentional and I'm going to share with my plan with you my plan for getting through these holidays because there's nothing in me that doesn't want to eat right now and I don't think that I'm going to have a struggle with points anytime soon. So in order for me to get through these holidays and really feel good and feel like I can face the scale and still be true to family and friends and outings and enjoying holiday festive foods, which I love, and there's nothing wrong with that. Exercise is going to be my weapon. So I have set a little goal for myself and it has been working. You see, I join all these Fitbit challenges with my family who they're crazy I mean these people they're they're awesome don't get me wrong but they're so far ahead of me they've been doing it for so much longer so they're 12,000 14 15,000 steps a day and then when they put some extra effort they get 20,000 steps in a day I'm not ever going to get that so I'm always like the bottom person on the challenge it kind of sucks but what I've done is I've decided that I was going to add another thousand steps each week after my weigh-in. So what I do is every single day, I think I am at 5,700. Today is 5,800 steps that I'm going to get. Every day, I add another 100 steps to it. So by Tuesday next week, I'll be at 6,000 something steps. And that is what I'm going to do through the entire holiday season. So I have not calculated it yet, but it looks like by the end of the year, I'll probably be up to about 8,000, 8,500 steps a day. And that sounds good to me. At one point, I was doing 10,000 steps a day, and that was tough for my body for many reasons. I won't go into all of them, but I have some con a condition that makes that difficult. I don't want to sound like a whiner because I'm not. I am the girl that will find a way. So we're going to see if my body can handle that level of exercise on a daily basis. And if if not, then we'll make an adjustment. I'll go to doing my Zuma classes three times a week or something like that. But for right now, I feel really good making a conscious effort on a daily basis to get exercise in. So if that is a struggle for you, then I would encourage you, start small like I did. I started at 3,000 steps a day and that was my goal. I literally changed my Fitbit goal to 3,000 steps a day because I literally, like I said, if I don't make a conscious effort, I might get 1,200 steps for the entire day. So I've started at 3,000 and I've worked myself up to... Today will be 5,800 and tomorrow will be 59. By Sunday, 6,000 steps and it'll keep going from there. So I'm encouraged by it and it looks good on the scale. Now I feel like I am so sore, you guys. I don't feel heavy, but I, I feel very sore. I know that I'm moving on a daily basis. So I know that that could have affected my weigh in today too, but I'm not gonna sweat it. 
I'm not going to make apologies and I'm not going to second guess myself about my weigh-ins. What it is, is what it is. And I posted today to Instagram and I believe it said something like, do not discourage anyone who is making continual progress, no matter how slow it is. And you know what? I firmly believe that and that is, I'm going to adopt that for myself because I need to stop discouraging my own self simply because I may be a turtle or I may not be losing three pounds a week for these people, these wonderful people on Weight Watchers who are losing three and four and five pounds a week. That is so awesome. That's fantastic. But it's not the standard and it's not necessarily what how the program was written. If you read the guidelines, it says that your expectations can be between one and two pounds a week. And so that is where my expectations are going to be. So I see that when I put the work in, when I follow the plan, including exercise, I do get at least that one pound a week. And so if I one pound it a week throughout the rest of my weight loss journey, then I choose to be happy about that. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys in on what's been going on with me, why you didn't see my face last week. Hopefully you'll see my face a little bit more. I am not going to sweat it. I am not going to stress this holiday season. There's a lot of things going on on a personal level, wonderful things, just choices to be made and planning out life and figuring things out. So, but I'll try to get some uh, recipes out there and maybe a a day or two of what I'm eating, but I don't want to bore you guys because I've been kind of eating the same thing over and over again. But anyway, I hope you all are doing well. Definitely let me know how you're doing. Definitely reach out and I will see you next week. If you've enjoyed this way in video and the way I see it, then please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe. I enjoy having you around. We'll see you soon.